Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Encased. We have assembled the emulator after our final test run. New research can begin. When the tests are finished, we will receive a message. And our quest log is empty almost. Still to do the underground fight ring and the ongoing mission to find army dog tags of some special unit. Now one thing I want to check out is if we can actually buy this house. And the reason I want to check that out because it has a personal box where we can stash our excess stuff presumably. What do you need? Hide our weapon. Wow, look what the wind blew in. Can we buy one of the houses in Junktown? I can sell your house if we agree on the price and we can actually afford the cheap house. I think we have 4000 combons. Let's get it. Alright, the check is yours. No backsy, so we cannot sell it. We're stuck with it. But I don't advise you to live in it. Better to rent it out to some desperate hobo. Seriously. Have a good one. some of the stuff we don't need immediately. This doesn't weigh much, I'll keep it. Mobius manipulator, yeah, also keep it for now. Grenades. I think we already sold the grenade launcher. No, we definitely don't need seven kilograms of beer. All the red bits. Let's just keep the quality stuff. Roach eyes. Thirty sterile bandages. Let's maybe keep ten. this stuff. Let's store two batteries and most of these spare parts. Electrical equipment. Bolts, let's hang on to those just in case. This all doesn't weigh much. Something like that. Now let's hope this is a safe neighborhood. Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> K 
Can we actually close the door? That would be nice. Uh, let's see. Alright, this is the intermediate house. And this would be the luxury house. 30,000 combons. thinking about increasing survival to maybe get cooking at a higher level just to see if there are new recipes what else do we get with a survival 60 we would have gotten dust in the eyes if we had deafness 6 there's a 60% chance to retain the ammo casing after firing allows you to carry 20 kilograms more <laughs> uh, 3 times more experience for exploring a location well we did already explore everything on the map so not sure if that is very useful and the higher level abilities this is only useful if you go solo regeneration camouflage at night and we do not have guts then. Well, alright. Maybe at the next level. For now, let's keep the 36 points. And maybe travel to Majan Station, talk to a few people. While we wait for the Come on in. emulator project to finish or the research to finish. We were advised to stay close. Well, this is only a, well, only. It's a two hour walk. Right, there's still rats in the area. Cut might be also take care of those. Probably in this area. Well, for now, let's go inside floor level minus one and maybe check out a level we haven't visited or we haven't explored Maybe the military post. Floor level minus three. Garrison and isolation ward. Yato. Attention, attention. Please handle 
You find Nakayama in the same place. He is leaning on his elbows on the frame of the metal detector. A surveying area with a bored look on his face. And I was starting to get bored. I thought about what you said. I can't remember what we said to him, but... People like him don't value good rapport. Go easy on them and they'll only steal more. This was... had something to do with a theft of the... Golden Watch. Maybe. I think we let him off the hook. Choir is still hiding behind his monitor. Only the quiet clickety clack of the keyboard gives him away. We have come to see someone. <laughs> Not sure what he what this is referring to. Really, who exactly would you at least mind telling me the name? Saying you aren't going to visit anyone. Maybe the solitary confinements. Elevator for oranges. Come on, don't be shy. A middle-aged woman gives you a friendly smile. Hello, please sign the petition to forbid those horrible e-entertainments. What do you mean? Games on every terminal and communicator. All these falling cubes and flying balls look innocent, but they turn people into zombies. They distract us from productive work and cause violence. We're only one step away from real bloodshed. Sign the petition, save the human race. Well, we actually like the games. She's making a mountain out of a molehill. Well, I hope you understand one day. Could break in in the military post. Again, the point gap is minimal. We expect the intrigue to continue until the end of the game. Joran and Keisha. Austin. Let's talk to him first. An orange is scrubbing the floor under the tireless gaze of a black standing next to him and barking out orders. You're doing it wrong, Rain. I'm doing the best I can. You don't like it, mop it yourself. Or maybe you could train a monkey to do it in your spare time. Intentionally trot on the clean part of the floor as you move away. Well, let's continue listening for now. I'll tell you one more time, you did it right during the test, but now you're just spreading dirty water everywhere. You're making circular motions, but you need to zigzag. I had a hangover during the cleaning test and my hands were shaking, but circles work much better, really. And the rogues take the lead again. The point gap 
is minimal. We expect the intrigue to continue until the Interfere and say that circular motions are indeed better. Finally, someone who gets it. We are allowed to just search the place. Apparently. And we have room for more stuff, since now we have a house. Let's just take everything. Finally, an antidote. We were looking for those before the fight with the roaches. There is actually something we can make. Pulled pork. And with something we can make, I mean not needing rats or roach meat. Soldier's belt. All right. Actually, a useful item. For crumb. More initiative. More relic slots. Heat resistance and muscle plus one. The Mobius manipulator. Muscle eleven. Very good. But deafness minus one. Light weapons, hand to hand, criminal contraptions. We need hand to hand and we need light weapons. So let's maybe not do that. And this unknown relic, precision.
doesn't do anything. Right, keep it as is then. Rear Admiral Pants. Less evasion. But other than that, an upgrade. And that's something for Katarzyna. Anything else here? No. Well, at least we got a few upgrades out of this area. Two blacks, a man and a woman, are sipping beer on a couch in front of a television. They're watching a recorded baseball game. The Anchorage Huskies against the Crystal Sands Rogues. And the Rogues take the lead again. The point gap is minimal. We expect the intrigue to continue until the end of the game. Holland's head, the Rogues runner, streaks from base to base like a hurricane and gets a run for his team. And the Blacks are apparently fans of the Rogues. So why are you watching a rerun? Well, probably because all that is available. And the rogues take the lead again. The point gap is minimal. We expect the intrigue to continue until the end of the game. So why are you watching a rerun? You want to know why we are watching this specific game? What do you say, Keisha? The roads were fire before the incident. It was like this. Every season the worst players on the team were sent into the dome. So the guys just went balls to the wall. You know, since this game no one else has been sent here. And the rogues take the lead again. Point gap is minimal. We expect the injury to continue until the end of the game. Makes sense. If I were them, I'd play like a madman too. You're already inside the dome, you idiot. Land here before Sergeant Evers decides to launch a hostile occupation of the entire sofa. You sit down on the couch near the blacks and watch the rest of the match, sipping a cold beer. That matchup was a firecracker. Indeed. And the rogues take the lead again. The point gap is minimal. We expect the intrigue to continue until the end of the game. I can't even remember how many times I've watched it, and it never gets old. Come back again. That's debatable. Isolator engineer gloves. Mali weapons plus 10. Now we got some decent stuff out of our visit of the military post. And the rogues take the lead again. The point gap is minimal. We expect the intrigue to continue until the end of the game. Does Ida have anything to report? Grace is studying some papers, sipping at her coffee. What are those papers? 
usual bureaucracy investigation team conclusion fucking idiocy i am the investigation team and then i have to evaluate my own work it would have been easier to shoot them both dead the oranges that tried to escape she's referring to And I was starting to get bored. By way of greeting, Moretis pats you gently on the shoulder. See ya. Gunter Haas in a servo shell. Heavily armored Blackwing soldier is watching over the warehouse security door. According to the metal plate on his chest, the soldier's name is Gunther Haas. Why is a heavily armored soldier needed to guard the warehouse? Probably some very useful items in there. I'm not allowed to discuss this with members of other wings. Where can I get armor like that? I don't think it's available to anyone outside Blackwing. Yeah, a lot of crates, lockers, crates of military equipment. Hello again. Dart gun. I think we have a level five dart gun at the moment. Yes. Does less damage though. This needs more points for reloading. But it also has a larger magazine size, so that makes sense. This has more range. Attention, attention. Please handle relics carefully. Well, it might be useful, but expensive. Heavy weapon. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Another location we haven't explored. Maybe the warehouse and parking lot. Floor level minus two, warehouse. Sinewy guard with a face bronzed by the sun turns his mirror shades in your direction. Stephen Moreau, security officer. Later. Calvin McPherson. Let's trade. Well, the guy raises his hand for a high five. Give him a high five. 
upgrading. You're my kind of person, okay. Now let's get down to business. Shotgun holes. I think we need those for crumb. Uh, to make cartridges, we need also black powder and pellets. But what? I think we have those available. You're not busy? Come here, please. Well, all right then. Oh yeah. A woman in an administrator's uniform is looking around, clearly lost. As you get closer, you'll read her badge. Oh yeah, Rasmussen, trainee administrator. Hi there. She begins to speak in a strong Scandinavian accent. Listen, can you help me? I can't do a Scandinavian accent, I guess. Two oranges are skipping work. They are unpleasant people and I'm afraid to talk to them. Alright, we'll talk to the oranges for you. Let's see, their names are er Erwin Immelman and Theodore Leary. Svetlov and McPherson are expecting them. Let them know. Have a good one. Leary and Immerman are ditching work to hole up in the technical room near the broken elevator. Right. See if we can find them. Leary and Immelman. Door is locked. Passing the orange wing utility room, you stop when you hear a pair of quarreling voices. On the other side of the door, two people are discussing a plan for some kind of robbery. Or at least you, heard, you hear the word robbery loud and clear in the midst of their bickering. Continue listening. Pressing your ear to the door, you are able to pick up every word. From behind the door comes the click of a lighter and a heavy sigh. Cowboy, why do you have to be so damn stubborn? The plan is fine, we just need to solve the problem with the cameras. Go rub shoulders with the blues and think it over. Maybe there's some sort of signal jammer we could use. You get the cameras turned off and distract Kelvin, I take care of the rest. 
The second voice is quieter and more muffled. Something about this has me shitting my pants. It's too fucking risky. How about we just drop the Vega? Yeah, we can cut one of them open like a can of beans, or maybe we could break them open. I'm about to break your face open, you knucklehead. The first speaker is obviously nervous. Why the hell do you look up to that moron? Harry busts his ass for a free soda and some noodles. What I'm suggesting is so easy. It's like they're begging for us to take it. I'm telling you, the plan is fine. We just need to figure out what to do about the cameras. And the discussion ends, no surprise, at the moment you press your keycard to the scanner. Well, we actually pick the lock, but... As Crumb approaches to talk, yeah, these oranges don't want to talk to Crumb. Call the squad leader. The recent conversation about the robbery has been replaced with a tense silence. The oranges exchange furtive glances, trying to decide how much you heard. Well, we heard everything. A round-headed, clean-shaven guy with his sleeves rolled up expresses genuine surprise. What were we talking about? We were discussing a film. It was Bugsy Malone. The return of a man called Horse. Ah yes, the return of the horse. There's a big shootout at the end and the savages all run away. And you should run away from here too. Ask Crumb to vouch for you. Ask them to take you on. Refuse to get involved. Let's ask Crumb. Delving into this topic is completely in vain, but it's up to you, according to Crum. Don't sweat it, Theo. This person is tried and trusted. The orange chuckles meaningfully, surveying your face with an alert, focused gaze. Howdy. I'm Theodore. This is Cowboy. Hiya. Erwin, my name is Erwin. When Erwin the cowboy gets up from his seat to greet you, you notice he's wearing a white belt with a huge silver buckle, which explains the origin of his nickname. I work in the warehouse, cowboy tinkers around in repairs. Here's our scheme. Cowboy will distract the storekeeper and I'll take something we need. There's security, but they won't check our bona fides. Now why? Answer that the blacks rely on cameras. You catch on quick. Yes, the blacks don't expect anyone in person. It's too much work. Don't inspect anyone in person. It's too much work. If something goes missing from the warehouse, they review the camera footage. The warehouse is bristling with cameras and we need to cut them off. If you know how, you're in. So we are about to get involved in a criminal activity. It must be the influence of Crom on the team, I guess. Offer to cut electricity in all of Magellan. Let's maybe not do that. We can deactivate the cameras 
if we can get access to the security room. We probably can do that. Get into the room, easier said than done. There's only one entrance. The office is at the end of the level, next to the ventilator. Ask if he meets the ventilation system. Yes, precisely. Okay, you're in. Well done. I just hope you don't shit your pants when the pressure's on. Well, we need time to think, I guess. I understand. Just don't dawdle. See you later. So getting these guys back to work. Isn't really an option anymore. Leary and Immelman have given us a business proposition. We need to get in the video surveillance room on floor minus two. Yes, that is the room that is constantly occupied by what's her name. And then turn off the feed from the cameras. Then Erwin will distract the storekeeper and Theodore will take something valuable from the warehouse. But what about your day job? Hmm? Yes? And I was starting to get bored. The offer still valid, are you with us? Tell him he should return to the warehouse. Right, probably one thing or the other. Cannot do both quests or finish both quests. Let's make the shotgun shells. Can make 14. needed for the shotgun shells. So we can make black powder. We just need the shotgun hulls and pellets. Well, I need to think about what to do next. Do we really want to get involved in a crime? And there's also a bunch of other people to talk to. Well, I need to think about that. Something for the next episode. For now I make a cut here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.